The new Seeker Air Mag FOD Control Magnetic Sweeper. This is our new airport specialized magnetic sweeper, loosely based on the Piranha concept. So this magnet is about twice as powerful as our existing Piranha series. So it's a 12 inch by three inch ceramic magnet. So the reason we did that is because a 12 inch magnet has a lot more surface area on it and it, three inches high because the field doesn't need to extend that long because this thing only operates at a maximum of three inches. So sweeping heights adjusted by these cranks, one on either side, and there's a scale here with um, one, two, three inches marked out on it with looks like quarter inch increments. So you just crank these one way or the other and that raises or lowers the wheel and you are able to adjust your sweeping height. So you just make sure these are even on both sides and it's indicated by a grease nipple here, which you can grease obviously to make the ro rotation smoother if needed. <clears throat> So this magnet is a 12 by 3 ceramic magnet. It's permanently charged. It won't ever need to be no maintenance. It'll last forever. And it'll pick up a two and a half inch eight penny nail from a height of 10 and a half inches. So with that pickup height and you're in the three inch sweeping range that we give you one to three inches, there's plenty of power to pick up any kind of debris you're going to find on an airfield. Uh, we're up here in Canada. We're at the London airport right now. So the major debris out here is actually bristles from a snow brush. So they go out with the snow brush, clear off the runways in the winter because, you know, planes don't stop for snow. And those bristles go everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. We went out to the fire training facility over there and there's no reason they don't brush it out there, but there's still bristles out there. Um, so to, once we get all this material collected, uh, to clean it off, you just use this big lever here. So this lever on top is a two and a half inch solid piece of steel. And you might wonder why you need, is this a solid piece just for a handle? Well, the idea is it counterweights the magnet. So this is basically just a little L bracket, L like this, that's hooked to the top of the magnet housing. So when you pull it down, it pulls the magnet up and away from the stainless steel debris pan, which separates any debris you collected from the magnetic field, dropping it onto the ground. So once it's all dropped on the ground, uh, you just pull your truck forward and then included on the seeker, everyone that you buy comes with a PowerStick Pro Elite. So this is our rare earth little broom sweeping kind of thing. Uh, it's the easiest way to pick up debris, especially if you're on gravel or any grass, something like that where you can't see every little piece. You just run it over whatever debris you collected and then that can be deposited into these onboard bins. So the bins even have lids and then little bungee cords retaining them. So you get one, two per sweeper you order. Uh, these come in singles, or you can order a triple setup, which gives you a 15 foot sweeping width. So you got these buckets on here. You pick up all your collected debris with the power stick. There's no bending over. There's no sweeping. There's no nothing like that. It's really easy. There's just uh, rubber latches to hold the power stick on. It's very secure. So this isn't going to come off while you're driving. And yeah, get your power stick off, pick everything up off the ground, throw it in this bucket, throw your lids back on. And then there's just bungee cords that hold these down as well as, you know, gravity. So there you go, ready to start sweeping again. You just pull this magnet up. Now it does magnetize to the top of the frame. So it takes a bit of a pull like you probably saw. There's a metal bar here that the magnet housing actually sticks to when it's in the top position. So you don't have to hold it down the whole time. You set it down and just leave it. And then when you're ready to sweep again, lower it back down and the magnet will be at the bottom of the pan ready to sweep again. So this magnet has our wraparound function. So what the, all that means is the magnet housing inside the, this body here is actually touching the back of the debris pan. So magnet comes down, swings, and it touches the back of the debris pan. So if you have any debris on the bottom of your pan and you hit grass or gravel or whatever, uh, the material will come to the bottom of the pan and then snap back up to the rear of the pan so you don't lose anything if your get, stuff gets brushed off the main face of the magnet. So the wraparound function, it's great for, like we just took it through gravel. Uh, we we're swiping the ground a little bit just because uh, the surface is uneven. This is meant for flat surfaces, but at the end of the day, it's a powerful magnet, 10 and a half inch pickup height, and you can adjust it to three inches and it's got a stainless steel pan. So it's, it'll be fine for gravel as long as it's relatively smooth. But on either side of the magnet, we got Carlisle flat free wheels. These are 16 and a half inch wheels and they have a 2000 pound five bolt rated uh, hub and spindle assembly on it. So it's just like anything you'd see on a normal trailer, like a car front, like a rear tire on a car or any normal trailer. It's an actual hub with a spindle and a wheel bearing. It's not just like some slip on thing. So it's very heavy duty. And the magnet itself only weighs about 1100 pounds. So when you have a 2000 pound rated hub and spindle on either side, it's overbuilt for what this trailer is. So it shouldn't have any problem with, with air. The entire assembly is all steel and stainless steel. 
and every single surface on this thing is powder coated. Uh, there's only one piece that's painted and that would be the magnet assembly. So the stainless steel inside the body here, because the uh, magnet assembly is made of stainless steel, so inside this body where it's protected by everything, that's the only piece that's painted, everything else is powder coated. Now this thing comes standard with the uh, lights and fenders package, so it comes with these trailer lights. Um, so if you're running at night and you need the lights on, you got turn signals, brakes, whatever, it just operates off normal four pin trailer wiring uh, harness. And then you got these flags on here. These are just for, well, they look nice, but these are just for, um, so when you're backing up, you can see it, because this trailer's really low. So if you're backing up, this just lets you see in your mirrors where you are. Yeah, included, like I said before, you got your power stick, got your buckets. Um, it comes standard with a pintle ring hitch. And we also sell a system to be able to attach three of these together. So individually, it's only a five foot sweeping width. It's only 60 inches. And that would be from here to back here. That's five feet. And then when you attach three of them together, they overlap over this wheel. So this basically this panel here is where the wheel rides. So when you attach three of them together, um, the one in front of it or behind it will catch there's no overlap, like it all overlaps. So there's no points in that full 15 foot sweeping width where you're gonna miss any debris. It overlaps over, like the magnet overlaps over the wheels. So there's nothing that's gonna slip by. And then also with these magnet assemblies, the way they're built is it's an alternating pole assembly. So think of it as two six inch wide magnets. Uh, one of them's south, like the pole, south pole is pointing down and one of them the north pole is pointing down. So what that does is they kind of pull on each other and it makes a very concentrated magnetic field. So in that three inch operating range, you can run this thing up to 30 kilometers an hour. I think it's about 50, 12 or 15 for our American friends. And it's got no problem. Uh, we did this basically the whole runway. We went one way down to the other end of the airport and then all the way up through the taxiway to the other side near their fire training area. And it took a grand total of probably half an hour. I mean, we spent 15 minutes sitting there waiting for planes to clear so we could drive. Uh, it's a very quick cleaning system when you can drive that fast. Uh, you need to be able to drive that fast on airports because you got limited time on that runway because you probably see behind me, there's planes landing and taking off all the time. So if you're driving a truck out with a trailer on that runway, you better be off that thing quick. So there's no time for stopping and cleaning and whatever. That's why we got that 12 inch magnet assembly. It's nice and wide. So there's a lot of surface area that the magnet can actually collect debris on. You don't get a situation where it's a very narrow magnet and it just starts to pile up. It's nice and wide so that the stuff can spread out and you can hold on to more without losing as much magnetic power. Um, and then while we were out there, because when you have a magnet and you're picking up metal debris, every single piece that collects uh, is gonna take down the potential power of your magnet just because it has to use some of it to hold that debris. So that's why we got this onboard system, which is, you know, it's just a bucket, but still it's an onboard system. So you, when you're out, we went to the other side, pulled off the runway, we're out of the area where uh, traffic is, clean it off, you got a nice clean magnet for your return run. So you always make sure you're at the best potential pickup power you can be by keeping that magnet clean. And it's a pretty easy process, it's just, it'd be easier if you have two people just because you get someone to pull a truck forward, someone to do the rest. But yeah, like I said, just pull it, pop your power stick out, pop the bucket top off, clean it all out, it takes no time at all. <laughs> And yeah, you hook the three of them together. It's got just a couple brackets. They link on the front. Uh, there's a, these hitches, I don't know if you can see that, but there's little receivers here that latch to the front of the following sweepers. And then there's a bracket at the back that ties the two rear ones together so they don't start swaying. So it's a very secure system. We had it out there. Uh, you'll see in the other videos how it kind of works. But this thing is our newest part of the Seeker FOD management system. We're going to be having a couple other seeker line FOD control pieces that we're coming out with soon. This is the first one. This is the magnet because we're familiar with magnets. So we got a magnet for the first shot. Um, just a new and improved one, way better than the Piranha, way better than anything else on the market right now. More power, easier, easier handling, just easier clean off. You don't have to deal with the little levers and stuff like that. Comes with lights, comes with the wheels, comes with the nice flags and everything like that. Comes with the hitch, comes with the wiring it's very simple to assemble like when you get this thing shipped to you all you have to do is just bolt on the tongue that's a grand total of uh five bolts pretty easy we had it together in a span of like five minutes oh well, i guess you have to put the pinto ring in on your height but that's that's not assembly at that point that's adjustment so yeah there's the new seeker air mag it's quite a unit now we've been developing it in 
partnership with, well not partnership, so we've been developing this magnet with input from uh, the London International Airport like we are here, we're here now, and also the Pearson International Airport in Toronto. They've been going back and forth with us over the last couple months just for the features they wanted, um, what's useful, what's not, what they need, what doesn't need to be on there. Like for example, London says they don't need these lights, but other people say they do, so we got them. Uh, so yeah, this thing's just been refined over the last couple months. It's really come together as a good unit, and it's uh, one of the, it is the best magnetic airport FOD sweeper on the market that you can get today. And yeah, all parts are available online. Uh, you can basically build this whole thing from scratch if you order all the parts. Wouldn't recommend it because it's a pain, but anything you break on here, you can replace it at bluestreakequipment.com.